If you're thinking about moving and you own a farm or a homestead like we did, in today's videos we have a couple lessons that we learned from moving our farm that will hopefully make your farm move easier. If you've been following us for a while, you know that we just moved from our homestead in Connecticut to a much larger family farm in Pennsylvania. You know, kids make moving a little more complicated. Animals do the same thing when you're moving. Which we will never do again. We will never ever move again. Moving was the worst. But we did learn a lot from this last move. The first lesson we learned from this move was that moving with animals is a challenge. Actually the physical process of moving the animals. You need the right containers for them and the right vehicles for them. So the less animals you have to move, the easier your move will be. So downsize your herd. This is a great opportunity to get rid of that goat that misbehaves and gets out of your fencing or downsize your herd. The less animals you're moving, the better. We had been thinking about moving since February of this year, but we still got meat birds two months before we ended up moving. We would never ever do that again. As soon as we figured out, yes, we're moving, we should have called that hatchery and said, cancel that order. If you're thinking about moving seriously, you're talking, okay, we're gonna list on this date, don't get meat birds, don't have any animals that need to be processed before you move because even if you take them to a processor, you're still moving all that meat and that's a big added pressure and added stress that you shouldn't put on yourself as you're moving. Almost done. Hopefully that keeps all that sawdust from coming. Yeah, that'll be good. Yes, let me get it for a moment. Now not only did we go and get meat birds and need to move those, we had lots of pork from last year's season, we had lots of beef, all kinds of meat in the freezers. So if you can, sell some meat, you have friends who help you move, give away some meat as a thank you. However you can get rid of meat, do it, because the less meat you have to worry about on a long drive and in a move, the better. Whatever meat you do have to move, try to fill a chest freezer's worth. So try to get the chest freezer full to the top or a cooler because a full cooler or a full freezer will do a much better job at keeping everything cool. Another thing we found very helpful when moving chest freezers full of meat, we made sure to plug them into an extension cord, pack them into the moving truck or trailer, and then we ran that extension cord out so that anywhere we stopped along the drive, when we pulled in that very first day and we didn't feel like unpacking a freezer, all we had to do was plug in that extension cord, the freezer would kick on and we knew our meat was nice and cool and that way we could unpack it the next day. Since he's out with the kids right now, I'm gonna give you another tip that my husband didn't necessarily follow. He got a ton of feed about two weeks before we were moving, which was not the best time to get a ton of feed because then we're moving about three quarters of a ton of feed to Pennsylvania. So be careful what you're buying in bulk before you move. It pays off in the long run when you don't have to move at all. Austin. Should have listened to his wife. I want you to feed the chickens some. Yay!
too low there. If you've been following the channel for a long time, you know that we moved in stages. We had so many animals and so much stuff to bring down here, we thought we'll do it in two trips. We weren't sure if we would like it or hate it. I didn't like it. Yeah, me either. <laughs> we thought moving in stages would make life easier. Oh, we can move some of the stuff we don't really need at first, and uh, then we'll move everything we really need second. Instead of making life easier, it gave us two times the amount of questions to ask. Yeah, it complicated. So the question wasn't just keep it or move it. It became, do we keep it? Do we move it now? Do we move it later? Do we actually need it? Do we need it now? Do we get it rid of it now? If we get rid of it now, will we need it later? It was so much decision making. And it wound up where we wound up keeping a lot of things that we could have moved earlier. Moved some things that we probably should have kept. And we kept a lot of stuff that we would move during the second move that we should have gotten rid of way before that. Yeah. No hush. If you have to move in stages, well, then oh well, you gotta do it. But if you can do the move all at one time, just take everything you need and move it to your new place, we suggest that's the route to go. At least that's how we feel. Uh, my mom's got these little bannies sitting on these guinea eggs. Good girls. Little bannies just wanna set. But the big chickens come in and push them off. So these poor little eggs. Keep getting cold. These big broody girls. Everybody wants to set on some different eggs. The girls are so naughty. There you go back into those. Ones. It's always nice to have hens that want to be broody. Because you, if you can get them to hatch out some guinea eggs, then the guinea keats will follow the mama hen in to roost every night, and they'll get used to doing that. And then your guineas will actually come back in at night, which is nice to have your guineas do. They'll stay alive a lot longer. Also a good idea to plan to move a week early. We thought we were kind of together. I had my lists made, I had my boxes packed. And we said, okay, we're moving this weekend. The day came where we had planned to move, but the apartment wasn't ready and we were not even close to ready to be able to move. I thought we were, I had my list, we had our boxes packed, but it just came so quickly and we were not ready. There was no way we could have moved on that day. So we made the big decision to change our move date, which I hated, I hate doing, I hate changing things like that. But giving ourselves that extra week was really, really necessary. Kay was a little frustrated having to change our moving date, but I was actually really happy because I could tell coming up to that day, there was so much left to do that we were just not going to get finished. Fortunately, we had planned on closing at a later date, and we learned from our attorney that we didn't even have to be physically present at the closing. We could sign documents ahead of time, and he could represent us. So if you're planning on moving a big move, a big farm or a big homestead, and you know there's so much work to do, have a goal of your moving date, a week ahead of your closing. If you're great and you're all ready to go, sign your documents, have your attorney represent you, and get out of there. Early, awesome. But if moving day comes and you're not ready, you'll have a bit of a buffer, which for us was so helpful. If you're moving a farm or a homestead, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to move, all the infrastructure you've accumulated over the years. Even after you do a big cleansing. Yeah. Our move, we needed to use a U-Haul trailer and a Penske truck. There were pros and cons to both. The truck was great. It was huge. The Penske truck, it was also more expensive than anything U-Haul offered, but it was brand new, beautiful, spacious, could fit a ton of stuff. The, the major downside of the truck was the expense. It was a lot more money, but the upside, there was a lot more room to store things. The U-Haul trailer was relatively inexpensive. It was also kind of difficult to use. The U-Haul trailer didn't have a jack on it, so if you wanted to take it off of the vehicle once it was loaded, that was impossible to do by hand, so we needed to use a little mini jack, and it was just really annoying. Plus, the U-Haul trailer was much smaller. You could fit very little amount in it, and you do need to know how to handle a trailer 
you can't get yourself in a jam not knowing how to drive a trailer. So really, I mean. It's a toss up. It's a toss up. If you don't know how to trailer and you need a lot of space and you have a lot of money, go, go with the truck. If you don't need quite as big amount of moving vehicle, you know how to trailer and your budget is tight, then the trailer is a good option. So there were pros and cons to both. recommended that for the first week after moving ourselves and the kids we put together kind of a first week suitcase with the clothes coffee we would need right away sheets for the bed towels so when we got here if we could have everything we needed right away within arm's reach kind of did the same thing with the cows we knew as soon as we got here they would need food water hay and fencing so we put that in an easily accessible place on the trailer, which meant as soon as we unloaded them, it was easy to put our fence posts in, run our twine, throw out some hay, fill a water bucket, and they were ready for the next day. You'll not only use that animal suitcase when you arrive, you'll also need it on the drive. Just like your kids need a bathroom break and a lunch break, your animals need a chance for you to stop the trailer, let them pee, let them poo, let them eat, and let them drink. So make sure to pack water for animals, uh, hay, you know, whatever they're gonna need to make the trip, especially if it's a long one. Moving was not the time for us to stick rigidly to all organic, homemade, meat, veggies were produced on our own. I embraced frozen food, already prepared food, and eating out a lot. Because there is an enormous amount of stuff to do when you're moving a farm. And I could not keep up with the cooking and packing all at the same time. So it was really important for us to include that in our moving budget. Eating out and buying frozen pizzas, all sorts of frozen things. We have some great frozen options now too. Trader Joe's had some really good Indian food. Uh, Costco's got that really cheap Costco pizza. Uh, those were a couple of our go-tos during the last few weeks of the move. And it saved us money having frozen food compared to buying takeout, so that helped. Right at the beginning of our, were you gonna say something? I bet you were, you always like to talk first. I was. <laughs> when I first started packing up the rooms, putting them in boxes, I swear, like every 10 minutes a kid came in and said, what, why are you doing that, mommy? What, where are you putting that, mommy? Why is that going in the box, mommy? And I finally said, guys, for the next two months, the answer to all your questions will be, because, because we're, we're moving. moving. We figured we'd share that mantra with you, not only for you and your kids, but just life in general. Moving was really hard. Uh, we normally have a pretty good marriage and relationship, but boy, we did argue a lot. Yeah, they, they do say moving is one of the most stressful things you can go through as a family. And I thought, eh, we'll be okay. We've moved before as a couple, it wasn't that big of a deal. This time was hard. It was really hard. So remember that, that little bit of a mantra as you get into the throes of packing up your entire life and bringing it somewhere else and trying to do so in an organized, somewhat orderly, sane fashion. Sane fashion. Uh, if you're fighting more with the person that you love so much, because moving. If you feel guilty that your kids are watching another episode of the Magic School Bus, it's because we're moving. If you're feeling ashamed that you're eating General Chow's chicken again for breakfast, because moving. So for all of you who are watching, who are tired of seeing us talk about moving. We have some big news for you. <laughs> We're that, done. That's it, that's the last video about moving. That's all the tips we've got. 
The great move is finally over and uh, feels good. It feels good to be done moving for the rest of my life. I will never, ever do that again. Mm, in six months we'll be moving again, but it's a much smaller move. <laughs> oh. If you, if you have been watching and you have more specific questions about the move, feel free to email us or leave it in the comments below. Comments below is better because then everyone can share their tips for moving because I'm sure there's good ones out there. Yeah. We still don't have internet in our apartment, so if we've been slow to reply to comments, that's why. Yeah, part of moving struggles. The move is over. Why should you stick around and watch our videos now? In the upcoming weeks, we'll have some fly spray recipe throwdowns. Gonna try uh, commercial kinds and homemade kinds. So if you have a good fly spray recipe, let us know. We also are going to be hatching some ducklings. So that'll be fun. Yeah, and our kids are trying to talk us into all sorts of animals to have on this bigger property. Goats are coming to the homestead, so. Goats will be here soon. I mean, you gotta see that. And, uh, and who knows what else. Yeah, lots of other stuff. If you've missed any of the move story, this playlist right here, it's the great move. You can watch the whole journey we took to get here. And stick around, because we've just really started here on the new farm. The move is done. Now it's time to start farming. Keep farming. Keep farming. I don't know when we stopped. We never really stopped. Shut it down.